Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're gonna take a look at all the majors including gold and oil. And while I roll the intro disclaimer, please hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys, a quick look at the calendar. As usual, we um, take a look at the calendar before, uh, before we start trading week just to get an idea on what's going on and then you have to check your news event day by day. So as you see, we, we do have, uh, we start the week on Monday with uh, Governor ba Bailey to speak. Um, not much on Thursday, it's a French bank holiday though, uh, but uh, it will not affect the uh, Forex market. Wednesday we have uh, BOG, not uh, expecting any fireworks from that. Um, also Wednesday during New York session we have a uh, monetary policy statement from the BOC and uh, a press conference that is um, going to be, um, this will move uh, the CAD for sure. And uh, Thursday we have uh, CPI quarter and quarter for New Zealand, Aussie we have employment uh, change and unemployment rate, we have GDP from China. Also on Thursday we have the main refinance rate uh, from the Euro and um, the monetary policy statement and we have the press conference which is going to be uh, also very important. Um, Thursday as well, core retail sales uh, month on month and retail sales from the US uh, to then uh, end the week again with uh, Governor Bailey speaking uh, one more time. So Thursday going to be a very very important day. Wednesday pretty much um, uh, important for the cat. Um, so yeah, those are the events that you should keep an eye at. Let's check the chart and we we'll start with the Dixie. And as you see, we still uh, the dollar still uh, did not break below support. This uh, support level is still holding well, and uh, it feels like we 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 keep going um, sideways on many markets um, inside some summer trading channels. So if we go lower to four hour time frame, we see it clearly here. The dollar is still holding at this support, and uh, I think. As far as this is holding, we had a little bit of a fake out last week to then go back inside and do a retest and a little bit bounce. Uh, I think we we're gonna do have uh, we we're gonna check the same area for next week. Keep an eye on this uh, range where we have uh, the the resistance up top here, and this is the bottom of the range. Uh, keep playing those edges until we have uh, some kind of breakout. And on the one hour time frame, you see it clearly a higher low here, a continuation move to then give you another bounce lower retest of this area. And this could be probably a profit taking after this uh, move here. Uh, say, so this, it does not need to be a new uh, bulls entering the market. But what's interesting is this move here, it was a strong one. So probably after this head and shoulder scenario and this uh, bounce to the upside, now we could really see this as support once again and keep an eye on that if it's gonna hold to buy at that level but all in all uh, this uh, is a uh, bearish market on the way down and um, on the longer uh, time frame we are inside the range actually so nothing has changed yet okay uh, as far as this holding as support look for buy trouble gonna be at around yearly pivot point monthly pivot point and this whole previous structure here gonna be the mid-range and uh, possible resistance area uh, <coughs> oil also still going uh, sideways inside this uh, very narrow range it, and sometimes it get uh, narrower and narrower as uh, we saw here we, we it got very narrow and usually when this happened the, the, the market start being untradable and um, you will see um, some kind of widening of the range as we had here. So um, this happened uh, last week and um, monthly pivot point was a great level for support as you see tested to the pip and bounced from that area once again. So um, as far as uh, uh, we have uh, these um, consolidations and uh, no no um, healthy trend going on. It's going to be um, hard traded. So I would say keep an eye on the top here. Uh, and for now, monthly pivot point as resistance. Those are the level that you could lay for now. 
otherwise i would say stay out of uh, over out of it um, in everything in between could be very choppy uh, gold we are still looking for a uh, on a <coughs> bullish market after this consolidation is broken we got the continuation we did reach the 1800 that i've been talking about we saw the market trading above the 1800 as well and um, yeah it is uh, trending nicely with higher highs higher lows above the trend line and i think we could keep looking for the same continuation uh, on these markets as far as we trading above the trend line and above uh, 1780 uh, this structure here that got broken as far as that holding as support you could look for um, continuation on gold until um, that change and um, a change for that structure would be a break below trend line a break below this area to then look for a <coughs> first major lower high to then uh, start looking for continuation to the downside yeah so for now look for buy um, buys only EURUSD still uh, ranging here inside the uh, oops uh, inside this range as you see it is a, a clear range on the euro uh, we've been inside this range for us uh, since uh, June and even uh, further back so um, nothing has changed here um, it is easy traded each time you reach the top you sell each time uh, it reaches the bottom of the range you buy until you have uh, a breakout and I don't think we are gonna see a breakout maybe on Thursday uh, when we have these uh, news events um, or ahead of that but for now um, as I said, nothing has changed. We're still trading uh, the range and uh, we should keep doing so until uh, that break up breaks out um, Next week any retest toward this area look for a potential sell or if it continues down toward this support Look for a potential buy if you want to trade uh, in between you need to see a break of this structure So if, if this level get broken you look for a retest and continuation to the bottom of to the bottom of the range uh, there is nothing else to do there um, Sterling USD this one is uh, trending a little bit better uh, Since we started this move here. We start seeing a nice trending market. Uh, it broke uh, structure uh, Did a retest another higher high another higher low and it's continuing I think we could use this uh, trend line and um, if the market keep holding above it to look for continuation one bad signals for the bulls though was that uh, there was no break above previous high last week so there was an attempt to do that and it fails and uh, got um, reversed again this uh, this um, here could be profit taking end of the week and all that so um, keep an eye on uh, this trend line i think uh, as far as we're holding above the trend line and above 1.26 we may see continuation toward the top here uh, on this market so as i said it is trading trending nicely so we should um, keep following that and to change that idea uh, i think uh, if we see a break below this trend line uh, sorry below this neckline here that will confirm a double top scenario so that would be the neckline here we have the uh, double top scenario here and um, yeah a break below that could um, confirm um, double top formation and then we look for a retest and potentially continuation if uh, the bulls will fail to make new highs usd jp um bearish uh, last week after uh, the breakout of this uh, little range that we had um, it was uh, inside this range to then um, we saw um, it broke did a retest another continuation it is trading now uh, below 107 so 107 could be a resistance look for a potential retest and maybe continuation toward 106 so we've been talking about 106 107 108 those are the levels that we should be looking at and as for now 107 uh, was broken to the downside with a daily close below that so um, probably we're gonna see the market moving toward 106 and uh, monthly s1 down here is a potential move on this market to happen usd chief um, still holding at this uh, previous support um, after breaking below this uh, range did test that uh, previous support and still holding there was no daily close below that we had a little bit of a bounce back to the upside and if we look on the four hour it is still um, a bearish market on the four hour since we had this break retest another uh, move lower that could not continue as you see here 
and there was no continuation and it started reverting we had this uh, inverted head and shoulder on this market the neckline got broken back to the upside and we've got this nice move higher and it looks like um, it looks the same as we had on the dixie so back above uh, support did a retest did hold the support and as far as this is holding as support bulls will try to uh, push it to the upside yeah but to really um, get a confirmation for a bullish uh, reversal heel we have now our uh, initial higher low so this is good for the bulls but they need also to break above previous high as far as this previous high is not broken they will um, maybe continue to the downside but if they manage to break above this previous high did a retest and potentially continuation to the upside usd cat still also inside the range uh, this is the range it is uh, clearly um, a, a, a range going on here and um, yeah nothing else to do buy low sell high sell high buy low until you have a break out of it um, everything in between could be uh, pretty choppy so be careful this is the mid of the range as for now acting as nice uh, resistance as you see here and the first time was this move we've got a bounce lower the next time uh, we've got an even bigger bounce to the downside and here we've got another bounce and with another uh, attempt that made a lower high here um, so this mid-range area acting as nice resistance for now uh, but really if you um, <coughs> want to uh, trade safe i would say just play the 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 bottom of the range and the top of the range each time the market reached that you could either sell the top of it or buy the the bottom of the range Aussie USD same scenario still inside uh, this uh, range bigger range and last week we had this uh, smaller range uh, for the whole week we've been trading inside this uh, smaller range here um, even here there is nothing else to do keep playing those ranges if you want you could play the lower range for now until it gets broken so if next week you see a break below this you could look for a retest and a continuation toward the bottom of the range or if this would be um, a consolidation before a break to the upside then we look for a continuation higher the problem with the continuation higher is um, even if you see a break above this there will not be much room until you reach the previous high here and the possible resistance area looking left so that's that's a bit of a problem as i said because here is um, also a strong resistance at this area if we see a break to the upside but the look of it and the divergence on the rsi uh, on this double top saying that we might see a break to the downside actually and that is uh, potentially what um, we should be looking for first um, risk to reward it is much better if we see a break to the downside New Zealand USD same scenario still inside the range testing the highs of the range uh, with a yeah, also a bearish divergence on this one as well um, I'm looking for the same scenario here it would be much better if New Zealand the USD breaks to the downside here with that divergence on the RSI so it uh, could be a nice um, trade if we see a break to the downside below this trend line then we look for a retest and a continuation lower um, that is basically what I'm looking for on this market because it's been moving for a while now to the upside so um, a little bit of a correction down would be good even on the daily time frame we have um, a big uh, divergence on the RSI if we look between this high and this high here we have a strong bearish divergence also a bearish divergence or also on the daily uh, we saw that the market starts slowing down when it reached the top here with the small body candles and it is losing momentum so that's why I'm uh, looking uh, first off for this to happen uh, and we uh, see potentially a move to the downside we are um, anyway trading at the top and at resistance so that's why I'm preferring that move first so uh, yeah guys that was it for um, this week and it's gonna be like this for a while now during the summer trading uh, we have so uh, lots of sideways market and probably not the sexiest um, overviews ever but uh, yeah we i'm explaining what's going on and what's going on right now is a lots of ranging market thanks a lot see you next week bye bye